27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today the Church celebrates Thanksgiving Sunday. We thank the Almighty Father for the creation of the world and for the creation of Adam and Eve, by which was instituted the sacrament of marriage. We are also reminded of the sanctity of the vows of marriage and the importance of children and the family. We thank God for the great sacrifice made by Jesus, His Son, so that all of us may become the part of the universal family of God, which is the Church. Let us, during this Eucharistic celebration, pray together as one united people, that we may always lead lives of righteousness according to the commandments of the Almighty Father. Mass Intention Souls of Victor de Souza, Francis Gomes, Gomes Family, Sebastian de Souza, Daniel Bake, Julian, Juliana Pais, J.B. Pais, Ana Maria Fernandez, Jacob Pascal, Philip, Birthday Remembrance, Fourth Death, Death Anniversary, Soul of Justice, Justin Joseph and Isabel Pinto, Thanksgiving Mass in honor to Mother Mary, Sacred Heart of Jesus. Thanksgiving Mass to honor of St. Vincent de Paul, offered by SSVP members. Thanksgiving Mass for birthday wishes of Cyrus Matthews. Let us begin this Eucharist in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With As we thank God because this Sunday, today is we are thanking uh, God very specially. We also remember our first Holy Communion, our students who is preparing to receive first Holy Communion. Today is the time where we will be giving them or introducing them Lord's Prayer. Let us as a one community pray for them. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. We all say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most gravest fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed very a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in abundance of your kindness surpass the merit and desire to those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscious dreads and to give what prey does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good that a man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. Now to the ground the Lord God had formed, every beast of the field and every bird of the heavens, and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called every living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all livestock and to the birds of the heavens and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found a helper fit for him. So the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and while he slept, took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. And the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man, he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Then the man said, This at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife and they shall become one flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. Our response shall be, May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Kindly repeat. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be blessed and prosper. Our response. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Our response. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper all the days of your life. Our response. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. May you see your children's children on Israel's peace. Our response. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brethren, we see him who for a little while was made lower than the angels, namely Jesus, crowned with glory and honor because of the sufferings of death, so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he for whom and by whom all things exist, in bringing many sons to glory, should make the founder of their salvation perfect through suffering. For he who sanctifies and those who are sanctified all have one source. That is why he is not ashamed to call them brothers. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Kindly arise for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. If we love one another, God abides in us, and his love is perfected in us. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory be to you, you O Lord. At that time, some Pharisee came up and in order to test Jesus asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? He answered them, 
what did Moses command you? And he answered them, and they said, Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of divorce and to send her away. And Jesus said to them, Because of your hardness of heart, he wrote you this command, commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. So they are what therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. And in this house, the disciples asked him again about this matter, and he said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. Lord My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the sacrament of marriage plays a dual role. First, it brings affection and intimacy between husband and wife. And second, sustain of humanity through procreation. Today's first and gospel reading it speaks about that we need to call us to uphold the sanctity of a sacrament of marriage. It reminds us, my dear brothers and sisters, that marriage is instituted by God and we should protect and cherish this sacrament of marriage. However, it has its own challenges and this can be overcome through the grace of God. Now, we see the marital problem. We see that problem in the marriage. When we have a problem of marriage, we need to resolve maturely. Today's reading reminds us that it is not God's will that marriage should be broken or to be broken. This is what the gospel speaks about, that man should leave his father and mother and cling to his wife and they become one, one body and one soul. What God has united, let no one be divided. My dear brothers and sisters, that we need to respect, we need to respect this sacrament of marriage. And we always need to ask for the grace of God to sustain this sacrament of marriage. Because it has its own challenges. It has its own problems. Now how are we see uh, to resolve this problem? First, let us discuss about the problem in the marriages. Why does the problem arise in the marriages? It's because according to what I understand, when there is a lack of mercy, when there is a lack of compassion, when there is no forgiveness, when there is no tolerance, when there is no mutual respect for each other, then we see the problems in marriage. When we also have the selfish motive or selfish greed, I am earning so much, you are not earning, I, you have to listen to me. And then because of this, there is no respect, the rift in the marriage grows. But if your marriage, if your foundation of marriage is built on honesty, truthfulness, mutual love and respect for each other and pray, you will see how your marriage will prosper because you are not only respecting each other, you are also giving time to God. It's very important because second of marriage is a covenant between husband, wife and God. My dear brothers and sisters, as we thank God for the gift of a sacrament of marriage, today as Archdiocese of Bombay celebrate Thanksgiving Sunday, let us ask ourselves, do I thank God every day 
it should not be a fair of yearly once a year reminder it should be every day our day to day life thanking god for each and every moment thanking for the gift of life there is one tribe in africa and they have a beautiful custom every day they visit to the sacred place each and every play, each and every family has a sacred place in jungle and from home to jungle they clear the path and they have to go every day to visit this sacred place thanking god and praying but if by 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 chance they do not go or because of whatever reason they do not go the grass in that path what they have cleared start growing and then the in charge of tribe comes to his door and knocks at the door and says i see i see there is a grass on your prey trial and he goes away person understand so what are the now today as we thank god let us pause and ask yourself let us ask that is your path of pray and thanksgiving clear or you see the grass grass of laziness grass or grass of uh, uh, not giving important to god grass of uh, 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 taking granted is this grass growing on your path that is my dear brothers and sister today we need to reflect and because of laziness growing we do not give important to god and that's the reason we do not receive god's blessing every day so we need to thank god for the gift of life gift of good health suit a suitable employment friends finance and little joy we enjoy each and every moment we also have to thank god for the struggle and challenges that keeps you humble as we celebrate this thanksgiving sunday we thank god for the life and for neighbor and friends and family and as we thank god it reminds us that an attitude of gratitude makes your life be attitude let us moment of silence pause and ask yourself am i thanking enough i am giving am i giving enough time to god let us pause and examine ourselves let us now arise and profess our faith i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son the lord who was conceived by the power of holy spirit born to virgin mary suffered and pined in pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell and on third day he rose again from the dead he ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of body life everlasting amen my dear brothers and sisters almighty father we thank you for the sending your son jesus to sanctify and unite a christian all over the world with the belief and and in all hum, human humanity we ask you to grant our petition our response shall be almighty father hear our prayer kindly repeat almighty, almighty father, father hear, hear our prayer that pope francis the bishops and priests and the religious may make known the glory of christ's sacrifice to the people all over the world for this we pray almighty, almighty father, father hear our prayer, our prayer. that leaders of the world may take steps to unite families and communities rather than sowing seeds of discord for this we pray almighty father hear our prayer that people all over the world may live in peace and harmony as members of one great family for this we pray almighty father hear our prayer the families who have been affected by the pandemic may find comfort relief and healing 
through the merciful grace. For this we pray. Almighty Father, hear our prayer. We praise you, Lord, as your children. May your name be kept holy in the hearts of all those preparing to receive the Holy Eucharist for the first time. For this we pray. Almighty Father, hear our prayer. We pause for a moment and pray for our personal needs and those of the community. For this we pray, Almighty, Almighty Father, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, we are your children and members of one great family that you have created. Grant us, we beseech you, our petition. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Bless thy Lord God of creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Bless be God for you. Bless thy Lord, God creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands will become our spiritual grief. Bless be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice in hand, the praise and glory for His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred gifts and celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ. And so in company with the choir of angels, we praise you as without end we all acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, you pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Until you come again, oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we ask you, we pray that parting in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, Cardinal, Gracious, our Bishop, and all his auxiliaries and all the clergy. We pause and thank God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O Lord, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints we are pleased to throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, now we have a presentation of Lord's Prayer for the first communicant. We will be receiving first Holy Communion soon. As they prepare this year, we ask all the students to kneel down. And all, everyone, as one community, we pray for them. When Lord Jesus gave us the Lord's Prayer, He did not give us just words to pray, but a way of life blessed on pray and union with God our Father. Today, as we hand on this prayer to our children, and we will renew our understanding as well, as our commitment to this. Let us all stand and we ask and we pray silently. We pray for the grace. We ask, request now, children, to kneel down. Open your hands and eyes close. Now we recite this Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil. We pray for the children 
Let us pray for these children that God in his mercy make them responsive to his love and so that through the sacrament of Eucharist and recon reconciliation they may receive pardon for their sins and have life in Christ Jesus. We pray, God our Father, you have sent your Holy Spirit of your Son into our heart by which we cry, Abba, Father, look with favor on these children who desire to become your special children through the power of your sacrament. Touch their heart, the power of Holy Spirit, and they may become one. They may come to know that worship you in spirit and truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from the every evil, graciously grant peace and days that we help us in your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power and the glorious now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the Apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant of peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter my roof, but say the word and my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. 27th Sunday of the year. Notices for the week. Today is celebrated as Thanksgiving Day. The week is celebrated as Thanksgiving Week. There will be Holy Communion service today from 10 a.m. to 12 noon for all our parishioners. We appreciate all those who helped in organizing the Parish Feast online program. Today there will be online PPC meeting at 10.30 a.m. and SSC coordinators meeting at 7 p.m. Thursday 7th October is a feast of Our Lady of Rosary. As per the circular from Archdiocese House, churches will be reopening for parishioners from Thursday 7th October 2021. Weekdays, there will be two Masses from Monday to Friday, 
morning at 6:30 a.m. and evening at 7 p.m. Please note Sunday morning and evening masses will be considered as fulfilling Sunday obligation. Morning mass will be open to all while this evening mass will be as per zone wise mass schedule. Sunday there will be four community masses morning 8 a.m. 9:30 a.m. 11 a.m. and evening 6 p.m. There will be communion service in the auditorium on Sunday between 11:30 a.m. to 12 noon for parishioners who have attended online mass and need communion. The following are the zone wise Sunday mass schedule for 9th and 10th October. Open to all Saturday 9 a.m. Cluster 1 zones 1, 2, 3 and 21 Saturday 6:30 p.m. Cluster 2 Zones four, five, six, and seven, Sunday eight a.m. Cluster three, zones nine, ten, and eleven, Sunday nine thirty a.m. Cluster four, zones twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, Sunday eleven a.m. Cluster five, zones sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, Sunday six p.m. Sunday collection boxes are kept near the communion distribution center. Ushers and volunteers are required in the church during all Sunday masses. Mass at the Mother of Victory Church, Dmart, will commence every Saturday and Wednesday, beginning 9th October at 5 p.m. The graves at Teen Petrol Pump Cemetery, Thane, that have burials that are two years or more, will be reopened. for the use of other burials niches are available and those who wish to transfer the remains of their family members are requested to contact the church office at the earliest last sunday box collection was rupees 30300 donations received for the week was 8000 rupees thank you for your generosity end of the notices thank you as we heard about the reopening of uh, churches on 7th onwards and we know the details of the timing only on saturday we have mass in the morning at 9 o'clock and this is mass will be fulfilled of a uh, sunday obligation so this will be a sunday mass 9 o'clock uh, on saturday kindly note can you rise for final blessing the lord be with you May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth; the mass is ended. Thanks be to God.